So I was looking at my calendar the other day and I realized that we are exactly three weeks out from Cinco de Mayo. With everything that's been going on, I wanted something special, something really to look forward to. So I've decided we're doing a barrel aged margarita. Beautiful thing about this is you do all the work now and you only reap the rewards later on. Right now I'm dealing with a two liter mini barrel. It's charred barrel. It's just like you would put your bourbon in, just smaller. So biggest thing you have to remember with uh, the mini barrels is you need to soak them. These barrels start off dry. The only thing that holds the barrel together uh, is the pressure of the barrel itself pushing against the rings. So uh, there are no rivets in there. If there were rivets in there, that metal would interact with the liquor and it tastes like a handful of coins. So when you get your barrel, you're going to want to remove the bung. And this is something I did in advance. I filled it up with hot water. With that hot water, it's going to expand and swell into the wood itself, pushing all those staves against the bands. Once you have filled up your uh, barrel, you'll let it sit. This one, uh, I checked for leaks along the stave lines and I didn't see any. So after about 20, 24 hours, I went ahead and uh, I emptied it out. Now it is prime for making a margarita. Now you think about your margarita recipe and you think lime juice, you think uh, some form of citrus uh, liqueur and tequila. Big thing is you can't put the lime juice into your barrel. No citrus, no dairy. After sitting in there for uh, two weeks to a month, citrus and dairy will curdle. So uh, we don't want to do that. We want, we want a delicious cocktail. Today we're using El Jimidor, uh, El Jimidor Silver. We're actually going to turn a silver tequila into a reposado. We're going to shift categories. Silver means unaged up until about two months. Reposado is two months to just shy of a year. With the El Jimidor, we're talking lowland tequila, so it's drier. We're talking a silver tequila, so it's unaged. Uh, delicious, delicious. For the price point, you can't get anything better. And then we're uh, going to use the Cointreau as our orange liqueur. So for my recipe, I've gone ahead and I've filled up my container with one bottle of El Jimidor. You're going to want to take your time when you fill up your barrel. You don't want any leakage. It would be a shame if we lost any. You will be amazed as you fill up your barrel at how much it holds. It seems like a tiny little vessel, but it just fills and fills. Again, this is two liters. I'm going to fill just a little bit more than a liter. So there is one bottle of El Jimidor Silver, and now I'm going to add about a half a bottle of the Cointreau. Again, take your time. You can see this container is a little different from the last one. So I am getting these great orange aromatics as it cascades over my barrel. There we go. And then we put the bung in. This is an important portion. Shouldn't be, uh, I shouldn't have to say it, but make sure that your bung is in nice and tight. That way you have no leakage. Now it's the hardest part. You let it sit. Leave it alone for two to three weeks. With a two liter, it should take about three weeks to fully mature. So why do we want to barrel age a margarita? Why is it different? Let's talk about the barrel itself. As the alcohol sits in the barrel, you're going to have a few things happen. First off, you'll have extraction. Alcohol interacts with the barrel as it slowly soaks into that barrel. The barrel is a porous material. As it soaks into that barrel, it's actually going to draw the tannins out of the barrel, giving it more of an oaky note uh, to the uh, flavor. All of our barrels are first toasted using ultraviolet heat that caramelizes the sugars, and then they're charred. That opens up the pores that allows the transfer. So as that whiskey sits in there, it's going to pull out those gorgeous tannins. Uh, beyond that, the longer it sits in the barrel, you will also have oxidation. What is oxidation? 
as your barrel breathes, and it does breathe, believe it or not, as your barrel breathes and as that alcohol sits in there, the sugars from the tequila and from our orange liqueur are going to start to break down. As those, uh, lic as those profiles, those sugars break down, it's going to get softer and softer on the palate. Think about uh, red wine in a decanter or when you pour it through one of those fancy oxidizers. Uh, it gets softer on your palate, and that's exactly what's going to naturally happen inside this barrel. As it sits in there, it's going to pull the uh, tannins out of the barrel, making it oakier, but it's also going to get softer and softer. The sugars are going to break down. That should happen in about two weeks. So in about two weeks, two and a half weeks, we're going to sample this, see where we're at with it, and by Cinco de Mayo, we should be ready to add our citrus.